All right, so this will just give you a, a little idea of how to um, how to approach overlapping triangle type problems, where you're asked to prove um, whether two triangles are congruent. Um, so, for example, here we've got two overlapping triangles, um, and if those are hard to see, just fill fill these in here. Um, here's the two triangles, oops, right, uh, and they, they're kind of overlapping. Um, so kind of step one is to find, find the overlapping triangles, it, and you know, some people are more visual than others, and it can be hard to, hard to find them, um, but um, eventually you, you'll, you'll get pretty good at separating triangles in your mind, um, so doing that with your head rather than, you know, just doing it like I did it there in real life. Um, but yeah, so you can see two overlapping triangles here. Um, they're overlapping uh, in, in this case because they they share this side. AC is a side common to both. So AC is this length and AC is that length there. Um, so that's that's gonna help. So let's see what we know here. So BA um, BA is perpendicular or is, excuse me, is parallel to DC. Okay, um, so maybe you just mark that. You can mark that. Some, yeah. So that says they're parallel. Okay, BA is congruent with DC. Okay, so they're also congruent. So I'm just gonna mark these congruence marks. Um, BA is perpendicular to AC. So this forms a 90 degree angle. Um, and because these two lines are parallel, then this must also be a 90 degree angle. And the question is, is triangle ABC congruent with CDA? So let's see what we know. Um, so I'm going to, well why don't we just separate them for this first problem. Um, so this is D again up here, and this is C, and this is A. So we know that DC is congruent with AB. We know that this is a right angle from before. We know that AC is congruent with AC, right? These are perfectly overlapping. Um, well, that's pretty much all we need. Um, so two triangles are congruent if all three corresponding sides are congruent, you know, for example, this side has the same length as this side, this side has the same length as this side, and this side has the same length as this side. And if all three corresponding angles are congruent, so if this angle is the same as that angle, this angle is the same as that angle, um, this angle is the same as that angle. Um, but there's shortcuts, which you've learned, side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, etc. Because if these things are true, it follows that all the other parts are congruent. So here we have, um, side, angle, side. We've got two congruent sides. So um, DC corresponds with AB and they're congruent. Um, AC and AC are congruent. And then the angle between them is congruent. They're both 90 degree angles. So by side, angle, side, um, angle ABC, ABC, and angle uh, C, D, A are congruent, so yes. Okay, so let's try this one uh, without actually physically separating the triangles because, you know, if you're given a piece of paper or you're working out of a textbook, y you can't do this, right? So we'll do this in our minds. So F, G, F, G is congruent with FQ. Sorry, that's kind of sloppy. This is supposed to look more like that, FQ. So let's mark that. So FG, and I'm going to color on it because that's going to be easier for me to keep track of. Um, so FG and FQ are congruent. And we'll just put a little congruent congruence mark there. Okay. HQ, where's H? Uh, oh, I think I deleted H when I was revising this. All right. H. Sorry. HQ um, 
is congruent with oh no sorry h is down here maybe I should have looked at this more carefully before I started this okay but we're good okay so okay um, hq is congruent with rg so this length here let's make is congruent with rg this length here okay okay um, is fgh congruent with fqr um, well let's see so let's focus on on these this side over here this fq and fg business um, so if fq is is congruent with fg and hq is congruent with rg then fr must be congruent with fh uh, why do i say that well um, let's let's make this specific let's say let's say fq let's say this is 30 units long let's just say we don't know that okay well then fg would be 30 units. Okay, we'll let's say HQ is 20 units. Then RG, because it's congruent, would be 20 units. Well, 20 is a part of 30. You know, this partial uh, side is part of this whole side of 30. So uh, the rest of this has to be, you know, so 20 plus FH has to equal 30. So that would be um, 10 in this case. And of course, we're just making up numbers, um, but just to make this concrete. Well, 20 plus 10 would have to equal 30 over here, too. So these sides would have to be congruent. Um, yes. OK, so FH is congruent with FR as well. OK. So let me actually sketch both triangles um, to see what we have. So we've got we've got F G H, and then we've got um, F Q. R. Okay, so we just said that FH and FR are congruent. So let's mark that. So we just calculated that that had to be true. So these two corresponding sides are congruent. Uh, we said that FG and um, sorry, this was be a, a Q. FG and FQ are congruent. Let's mark that. Uh, right. Okay. Now notice also, since these are overlapping here, they share this angle. Right? So this angle has to be 90 degrees, or whatever it is. Do we know it's 90 degrees? We don't know it's 90 degrees. Did I just draw that? Well, whatever it is. See, yeah, I did just draw that, didn't I? let's just say it's whatever so this angle is congruent with this angle because they're overlapping there okay well what do we have here we've got a congruent side angle in between them another congruent side another pair of congruent sides so again by side angle side these two are congruent